Again, everybody, RT, KT, back with me again in TBTC, the palace and the home of Tsunami Bar. I'm going to say that every time, so get used to it. And we've got more information for you today. Listen, we tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We're not here to fluff anything. We're going to give you stuff that you can use and take to the gym and make your team better, you better, everything better about your physical being and your team and your program. Today, we're going to talk about something that's very important. We have a rash in athletics, whether you talk about cheerleading or NFL football, everything in between, we have a rash of knee injuries. And there's a reason behind that. Now we're talking about collision sports and we understand that. So we know that you're gonna have some issues with that, but there are, it's increasing. It's getting deeper and deeper and deeper every single year. I go back to when I had knee injuries back in high school. First thing they put me on when I came out of recovery was an extension. You can go in just about any weight room all across the country, high school and collegiate, professional, and you're going to find very few extensions unless you go into the, the, the PT area. You've got to pay attention to the integrity of the knee. And I'm going to bring in my man Ken Taylor right here, KT, and he's going to tell you why, and we're going to use this particular William Strength Signature Series knee extension, and we're going to show you the real deal. KT! All right, guys. You heard it, Robbie just talked about it. If you go back in the last two years in the NFL, more ACL tears than we've ever had before. Now, athletes are getting bigger, stronger, faster, no doubt about it. But let's just think about it from a logical standpoint and how logic plays into physiologic, okay? If I have a joint in my hips that moves, that's a joint that has mobilization. If I have an ankle that can eversion, aversion, that's mobilization. If we have the knee, that's one stabilization. So right from the rip, let's think about it, two mobilization joints going against one stabilization joint. Yet all the sexy exercises that you're doing out there are box jumps and deep squats and front squats. I do them too, I love them. But let's think about maybe pre-exhausting, pre-heating, pre-lubricating the knee with vasodilation blood flow before we get into deep flexion. If we want to be in a situation where there's not a lot of inflammation in the kneecap, patella tendonitis, condylalacia, you can call it what you want, it's basically an inflammatory state of the kneecap, or you don't want the kneecap to get weakened because you got two big old joints, two mobile joints pushing against the torque of the knee, we've got to work on the integral parts of the knee, a la leg extension. Just like Robbie said, anytime you have a knee problem, first thing they do is check your flexion angle on a leg extension machine but yet nobody wants to do leg extensions anymore. They'd rather spend time on the squats. Hey, let's do some squats, but let's always start with the leg extension. Let's talk about the proper setup of the leg extension. So as I put Robbie in here, and Robbie's got some scar tissue in there from his knees, I want to take him to a position where his angle is as deep as I can take him. Now, Robbie, you want to ask me a question about the flexion of the feet? Yeah, you know, every time we uh, you get on these machines, and I see it all the time, you're trying to get contraction in the quads, but especially in our old field of hypertrophy, right? we're always trying to force that blood into the muscles that we're working on. But, you know, I know that dorsiflexion or some kind of flexion or angle in the ankle is important. Tell us about that. All right, so if he keeps his feet in more of a laid back position right there, okay, now he doesn't have any stimulus going through the kneecap and up to the hip flexor. Guys, let's get off of so much of an isolation that we forget about the complete chain. If I can get him to go dorsiflexion, now all of a sudden when he goes down and stretches, I put my thumb in his hip joint, you can watch my thumb move at the top. That means his contractibility is going all the way through the kneecap, vasodilation, knee integrity, strengthening the quad, and oh, by the way, tying into the hips so the complete chain is getting better. That's why we want to use also like if I want to focus on the inside head of the quadriceps, let's go knees together real tight, feet together real tight, and all of a sudden now my change of area of recruitment is a stimulus on the inside lobe of the leg extension, but still also working on the tendon strength of the inside of the knee. Let's make the meniscus in a better place. Let's make the ACL in a better place as far as vasodilation blood flow so we have more knee integrity and we have less injury. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's some great information right there. And, you know, before we close this out, we got a machine right here that's got a lot of moving parts. It's got a back adjustment. We got, uh, we got height adjustment on the, uh, on the roller. What's the best and proper setup to get in this machine? If I get out of it and want to get in it, what am I looking for to get set up just right? I always look at the cylinder 
of where your feet are and try to line up knee alignment on there. Because remember, patella tracking is the middle of my knee being able to center over my first two toes. If I'm riding a bike and my kneecap is rotating outside of my two toes as far as this direction of patella tracking, I start to have knee irritation. Make sure your knee is in alignment with your leg extension and then always go for the greatest range of motion without too much lock and taxation in the joint. I'll tell you what, that's information right there that you can take to the bank, you can take to the gym, and you can use it and get better. That's what we're all about. We want to help you get better. RT, KT, TBTC, home of the Tsunami Bar. Check us out on the blog page, tsunamibarsports.com. You can find all this information right there. 